Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today we're going to take a look at the Artisto watercolor pencils. Um, these were sent to me for free for review by Artisto, and I will be giving you my unbiased opinion of these. In the past, I've reviewed their colored pencils, and I'll put a link to that review in the video description. And after that review came out, I had a lot of people requesting the watercolor pencils to be reviewed as well. So the first thing I want to show you is how they come packaged. We're going to be looking at the 72 set today, but they also sent me the 48 set, and I decided to leave this one packaged up so I could show you how they come um, and this is important because these come from Amazon and oftentimes the oftentimes things are broken when they come from Amazon when it's uh, colored pencils and whatnot because um, a lot of times the seller does not protect the pencils very well so this comes in a corrugated cardboard box and inside the box there's a bag and in the bag we have our pamphlet here that goes over some painting techniques and it has a printed swatch. Now this is the 48 color swatch. It has some techniques so that you can kind of have a head, like a little bit of a guide if you've never used them before. Uh, shows you how to hold the pencil, how to sharpen it, and then it gives you a step-by-step -step tutorial and then some ideas. I don't know if these are done in watercolor pencil or not, but there's there's some artwork that you might want to uh, you might want to try and then um, that I think is just a QR code to their web to their their sales page on Amazon and then you've got a brochure which shows the other products that are available I have reviewed their um, their sketch pads I, I'm not a big fan of their drawing paper but I do like their mixed media paper and their watercolor paper and we'll look at those in a minute they're all cellulose um, they're all acid free so they shouldn't deteriorate but they are definitely what I'd call like a student grade cellulose paper or just kind of like a um, all around have fun with it you know it's not cotton it's a, but it's a decent paper it's kind of like the Arteza Expert watercolor paper and mixed media paper if you've ever used that actually I'd say the mixed media paper reminds me a little bit more of the Canson XL mixed media like the regular mixed media paper if you want a comparison there uh, okay and then inside like I said, I left this one as you would get it as a consumer. You've got a sheet of foam, so that's there to protect from bumps and scrapes and however it arrives to you from the, uh, the delivery service. And you've got a plastic sheet, which um, I use this in between pages of my sketchbook so I don't dent the next page when I'm coloring. So I would keep this. It's also handy if you use markers that you could put it under your page so you don't get bleed through. Um, or if you're trying to, to color or draw, because I know um, and these are probably going to appeal to a lot of adult coloring book enthusiasts. So you could put this between the pages in your coloring book, uh, or you could put it on your table and put your page on top if your table has a texture to it. It's just kind of it's a nice it's a nice add-in to have. Um, and then you've got a swatch. It's actually on a nice mixed media paper, so you'll be able to actually swatch it out and add water to it, and it'll be fine. And then this is how your pencils come. They are pre-sharpened. They've got that kind of blunt uh, blunt tip to them. And this one has two layers because it is the 48 set. And this is kind of like the, um, kind of the, these boxes remind me an awful lot of the Arteza boxes as well. There's a lot of similarities between these products and the Arteza watercolor set. So I'd say if you do have the Arteza set of watercolor pencils, these are going to be very similar. Not necessarily the color range, but I did swatch out some Artisto, uh, Artisto colors with the Arteza counterparts just to see and um, I found them to be very similar. Here it almost looks like the Artezas were a little bit brighter but maybe didn't dissolve quite as well but um, I would say they're very comparable quality so if you had the Arteza I, I probably and also I want to caveat that my Artezas are a few years old so I have no idea how their quality is recently and this brings to another point anytime I'm reviewing a kind of like available on Amazon only type of product or a budget product or kind of like a newer company product which I do review quite a bit because I think it's it's nice to see those to have those out and at least know about them before you just go in blindly um, always look at the most recent reviews on any of these products on Amazon because oftentimes these companies, all the all of these things are, are private labeled for them by other by other factories in China, and um, like if you look at the back of these, it will say um, like American company designed in the USA, made in China. So they're not you know they're not putting hands on these before they go out. They're probably being shipped from China to Amazon and then going out from there. I mean I can't say for sure that's how it goes, but. Sometimes they need to switch factories. Sometimes factories switch ingredients. Sometimes um, they find a, a, a factory that's going to be cheaper and they switch to that 
factory, you might not get the same pencil, basically is what I'm saying a year from now. So always look at the most recent reviews and see how people that recently bought it like their products, okay? Um, so, and I don't, I mean, I hate to tell you what to do, but that would just be my advice because I've had a couple products I've reviewed where I've looked at most recent reviews about a year after I reviewed them and I'm like, these don't even sound like the same pencils. So that's why I, I want to say that. Um, but yeah, they, they're, these remind me an awful lot of, of Arteza. So I just want to have that to, that all as like, uh, just to show you kind of how it was going to come. Um, cause I do think they do a good job having it packaged and ready to go. Sometimes that's not the case and you end up getting... A set of colored pencils just in a tin inside of a bubble mailer and the tins dented and the pencils cores have been broken and it's um, it's just a mess and I, I do give them props on the packaging. The packaging seems to be ample for protecting these pencils. All right and this is a set of 72 so I went ahead and I swatched these on the paper that they send. The paper worked great for that um, and I put a black dot next to the colors that were also found in the 48 set. So one thing I will say is that I feel like the 48 set is lacking in those nice rich browns but for the other colors I thought they did a pretty good job um, the prices between the 72 and the 48 set the 72 set is $30 the 48 set is $22 now at the time that I'm recording this which is the beginning of February the 72 set actually has a 30% off coupon making the price this for this one being around like probably 22 bucks or so and the 48 set for $22 had a 25% off coupon, making that about $16 or $17. So um, definitely a good price for the quality that you're getting, in my opinion. Uh, but we're also going to compare these against some other pencils that are from legacy brands that you can purchase one at a time if you want to, which may be a better option for you. The thing is, with these reviews, I want you to help decide what's going to be best for you as a consumer and not... Um, just get this product or don't get this product because we're all different. We're all going to have different needs. And um, the thing with watercolor pencils is that they mix really well. So you don't have to have 72 colors, but you do want to have a nice variety of colors so that you can either have the color you need or mix the color you need. So looking in here, we have the same um, pack-ins that the other set had. And this is uh, arranged over three layers, I believe. Three layers of 24. Yes. And they've got the little grippy pickups here. Those can be kind of difficult. Um, and th this is pretty standard. Those little pickup on the edges are pretty standard. They can be a little difficult to pick up. So what I do in that case, if I can't get my trays out very easily, I'll take a piece of duct tape and I'll fold it over and I'll make like little lifts so I can easily pull them out of the, out of the case. Or you can put them in jars. That would be fine too. Uh, so I want to show you a finished piece of artwork that I did with these pencils. I did this on New Year's Eve. It was from the... I used the... Um, the glass and the court from the food paint challenge and I just kind of just uh, added in some stuff in the background. This is their watercolor paper which has a pretty nice uh, texture to it but it did make it a little bit harder to dissolve some of the pencil because of the texture of the paper but overall I like the paper. Um, this is the Artisto five and a half by eight and a half pad. It is 30 sheets and you get a three pack of these and um, I'm thinking that's about $22. It's somewhere in that ballpark. So pretty affordable. Um, it reminds me a lot of the visual, the Strathmore visual journals. So if you like those, I think you would enjoy these pads as well. That's just regular watercolor paper on the paper on this paper. I think it, I think it works pretty well. I haven't used it a ton, but I also use their larger pad, which seems to be identical in color and texture. So I'll show you that really quick. That's what this one is and you get like a two pack I think for about the same price um, and I used regular watercolors I was using this as my guide uh, as my demo pieces for a class I was doing and performed great it's a um, it's a cellulose student grade paper it's I would say middle of the road not bad not bad at all um, probably not robust enough that you'd want to be doing a ton of layering and a ton of scrubbing and a ton of this or a ton of that but if you're doing some quick sketches maybe doing some pieces for backgrounds on cards or you want to just do like a, a card with a couple of layers or a painting with a couple of layers or you're teaching kids this is definitely more than adequate it's a uh, it's it's good for the price definitely good for the price so uh, so yeah actually we'll take a sheet of this paper here as we do some comparisons And like I mentioned before, very similar in the, the sets remind me a lot of the um, of the Arteza. Even the address, I was looking at the address on Arteza and it's North Miami, Florida and the address on Artisto 
was also uh, North Miami, Florida. So I was kind of wondering, I'm like, is this another, is this coming out from the same people? Is it the same like parent company? I have no idea. I have no confirmation on that, but I thought it was funny that they were both in North Miami, Florida. But um, I'll show you what an Arteza pencil looks like versus the, um, the Artisto. And they don't match, they don't match color for color or anything, but this is the Artisto with the gold band. This is the Arteza with the, with a silver band. They almost look like they could be sisters, if not twins, they look like sisters. Um, but I will say the, Ar the Arteza is slightly thicker. Um, and it looks like the lead on the Arteza is a little bit thicker too. The, the uh, lead on the Artisto says 3.5 millimeter. I'm not sure what the Arteza is, but it does seem to, the, the body and the lead does seem to be a little bit thicker. Quality wise, I would say very, very similar. I'm just seeing if it gives the millimeters on the back. It does not, but oh, four millimeter lead on the Arteza and 3.5 millimeter millimeter lead on the Artisto. So you are getting more product than the Arteza. Um, price wise, I'm not sure what the Arteza 72 set was going for. I know their 120 set was, I think, like $75. So I think the Arteza is more expensive. All right, so let's do a little comparison here. I have got some Derwent watercolor pencils. I've got some Caran d'Ache Supercolor watercolor pencils, and I've got some Albright Dürer watercolor pencils. Um, so the Supercolor from Caran d'Ache, the Albright Dürer from Faber-Castell, and the Derwent watercolor pencils are all available open stock, which means you can just buy a pencil or two as you need them, which is great because you probably don't need 72 colors. And if you can pick and choose what you want, you can actually get a couple Albright Dürers, a couple Derwents, a couple Caran d'Aches, play with them, and then see what you like the best. You know, that's what I would recommend doing if you are ever, you know, you want to, you want to buy it once, you want to make sure you get exactly what you want, that's a really great way to do it. Uh, so let's do a little comparison. Let's do, let me grab a pen. I, my, my desk gets so crowded. <laughs> it's like, where did my stuff go? Okay, so let's do um, Karen Dosh. Let's do Artisto. Let's do Albright Drewer. And let's do Derwent. I probably should have spaced that out a little bit better. Okay. Um, let's get a red from each of these guys. We'll try. I don't have um, all the colors right handy, so we will just we will just do our best to get similar colors. All right, so this is the Derwent. This is a deep vermilion. Got a little bit of a dusty finish there. I'm trying. I'm going to try to keep my coloring very consistent. Faber Castell. That would be the Albert Dürer Faber Castell. Basically, what we're going to try to do is just see how the. Um, how the pigments dissolve. This is the Caran d'Ache. And then Artisto will take, this one looks pretty similar. Let's do a green. This one is Caran d'Ache. That's a pretty color. That's one of those colors you would use a lot, kind of like a sap green color. Let's try this one. This does look a little bit darker, but I think it's about the same, the same hue. This is not scientific. We're just get, we're just getting a feel for how all these compare. And I don't definitely. I, I typically don't sharpen these like super super sharp. My color, my watercolor pencil because I can push stuff around with a. Um, Oh, the brush as needed as my dirt went. Let's see, let's do a blue. This is Karen Dash. So it's up to you whether you want to buy a set and have a variety right off the bat and not think about it, or if you want to really think about like what colors you'd like to have and 
go that way, you know, and, and pick and choose each individual color. Or get a little bit of this and a little bit of that, like Albert Drewer. Let's see, this one looks like, oh, this one's probably going to be closer. I do have a full set of Albert Drewer in the other room, but um, I have a, just some random ones in my case next to me. And I think for this purpose it will work pretty well. I think I might need to get another color of the Artisto because I feel like that one's much more greeny. Let's try this one. Alright, well let's take a yellow. Let's do, let's see, I don't have a... something is kind of like a lemony yellow. Don't really have that one out here in Albert Drewer, but I do in Derwent. Now some pencils are going to have better light fastness ratings, some are going to have better um, a better price you really got to compare and also compare where you live because you can have different, different, um, different availability. You might find Caran d'Ache is really inexpensive where you live and Durant is very, very expensive or vice versa. That's here, Artistico. Artisto. Artisto, my goodness, Artistico is that paper. Okay, I don't have a super color in that color, but I do have a similar underwent. All right, I think we've got a pretty good variety that we can go by now. I think I will grab a darker purple there, just to be fair. I don't want to be... Um, I want to make sure I do give the Artisto... Artisto? colors a fair, a fair shot. All right, so I am going, first I'll show, I'll do a soft brush. I generally don't use a brush that's soft for colored pencils, watercolor pencils, but um, just to show you how these dissolve with a soft brush, Caran d'Ache, no problem. Artisto, no problem. But that really did wash that out when I used that soft, that uh, soft brush. Albright Drewer, no problem. I find that a soft brush just puts too much water in, so that's usually why I don't use a soft brush with any watercolor pencils, but I want to show you that the, how well these dissolve. All right, they all dissolve very well. But I generally use a, um, a Taclon brush. All right, Karen Dash. No problem, and set out good. Artisto, nice, pig nicely pigmented. Dissolves really well. Bright Drewer, different color altogether, but dissolves very nicely. Now when it comes to Derwent uh, water soluble pencils, their regular watercolor line is not my favorite. I prefer their ink tents, but I wanted to stick apples with apples here. Uh, okay, so we have Karen Dosh over here. Ooh, that one's very pretty. That one has a lot more color than I expected it would have. Artisto is really nice as well. Not bad for a budget pencil, I have to say. I did two colors because I wasn't sure which one was going to be closer. That one's probably closer to the Caran d'Ache one. The Caran d'Ache one's a little bit more pigmented. The Albert Dewar is definitely more of a navy. And Derwent is a little bit more like a navy too. We'll do these yellows. Uh, first we have Caran d'Ache. Then we have the Artisto. That one got really, really pale. Don't have one in uh, Albright Drewer. Derwent's is nice and bright. 
Um, Artisto, we've got two of the purples in Artisto. I don't have one in the Caran d'Ache. So we'll just liquefy these two and then compare them to the Faber-Castell and the Derwent. So I'm not seeing a humongous difference, honestly, between the Artisto and the other um, higher-end pencils that have open stock availability. So that's good. Um, I think the Caran d'Ache, actually, out of these colors that I had here, performed quite well. And that's not their top-of-the-line pencil. Their top-of-the-line is the Museum Aquarelle, and this is the Super Color, which is still an artist-grade pencil, but not their top-of-the-line. Their Museum Aquarelle are light fast rated, and these Super Colors are not, I don't believe... Do they have light fastness rating on here? Yeah, actually, they do. They do. It's an in-house rating, not uh, ASTM, but, you know, they do, so that's good. Okay, but Artisto kind of held its own. So another thing I want to show you is color mixing. I actually did it here on this paper already, but I'll show you. I'll do a demo of it right here. And in fact, um, that's all right. I can do it on the front. I was just thinking I would flip it over, but I don't really need to. I don't really need to flip it over. I'll take a, I'll take a red. I'm gonna use a different red this time. I'm gonna use a red that's a little bit more pinky. going to use a blue that's slightly green leaning and I'm overlapping I'll overlap a little bit I'm just gonna do three colors uh, and I want to do a yellow I think I'll do a strong a fairly neutral yellow here They're pretty good primaries I would say Overlap a little bit. Oops, I, I colored really hard and I... Well, let's try sharpening this guy. There. That was not the pencil. Well, actually, there I... Well, maybe I'm coloring too hard because I did snap it again. All right, so let's use some water here and see how it goes. Get a beautiful purple there. Get a nice orange. Get a lovely green. Yeah, I mean, these, these colors mix really well. I think they're quite vibrant, quite intense. Um, so, I mean, it's just, it's just really up to you whether you want to go with a budget brand. I mean, this is a decent budget brand. Or if you want to go with uh, an open stock variety where you can just pick out just a few colors that you want. I would say you could probably do both on the same, about the same budget. So if you're going to spend $22 or so on this set of 72 colors and you could get open stock pencils um, for like $2 each, you could get 11 open stock pencils. So, I mean, when you're considering 72 versus 11, this is definitely a better value. However, you just got to consider how you, how you want to use the pencils. If you are somebody that's really getting serious about art and you want to make sure that if you create something and it is your masterpiece and you love it, you don't want to worry about hanging it up on the wall and having it fade. Um, so you might want to spring for a, a line of pencils that has been light fast tested, maybe get a few less or save up longer and be able to get a small set. Um, or another way to go is just to buy a couple of the open stock varieties out there on the market from like Blick. And then uh, once you decide which ones you like the best, then buy a small set or a big set or whatever you want to do that way. But if you want something that's going to be fun, that's going to give you a beautiful arrangement of colors, that's nice quality, really good quality for the price. Um, that's really, you're not going to be lacking by using these versus using one of these other brands. I don't think that the actual use of them, you're going to notice a, 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 a negative, uh, a negative experience compared to any of these other brands to like color some stamped images or just sketch in a sketchbook, stuff like that. I really don't think it's going to hinder your learning. I would say go with these, but just, you know, keep in mind there's, there's, you know, you can still have a budget of a certain amount of money and go with a higher end product if you want to just buy some singles and uh, and do it that way. So um, I think these are nice. I like their, and I also like their mixed media pads and their watercolor pads. But 
ultimately the choice is yours how you want to spend your money and um but i did want to compare them against those higher end pencils that are available open stock just in case i noticed something was way off with these and um also compare them with the arteza because i think they're probably most similar to the arteza compared to anything else i've tried um i will show you something else i did with these pencils i used them in a mixed media application and they worked really well for that uh is that yeah it's in here um so i used them as kind of the base layer then i added water then i added a bunch of other things to it I added some alcohol marker and i added some pen and then some regular colored pencils on top and that worked great too this is the artisto mixed media pads and it's very similar to the canton xl mixed media maybe a little bit smoother but um but yeah but i also know that a lot of viewers do not want products that are made uh, in China, and that's totally your right as a consumer to buy the products from where you want them. And one thing that I think, and I see this on so many brands right now, um, so many American companies that have their stuff private labeled and produced in China, is they, they will say American company, put a little logo of the American flag, say designed in the USA, and then put made in China or made in PRC, People's Republic of China. And I think that's shady. I wish companies wouldn't do that. I, that just like, that to me, when I see that, it just says you are trying to trick the consumer and I don't like that. But if that's the only negative thing I have to say about this product is, and, and I could say that about Arteza and so, so many companies, but um, I don't like that. I think that's deceiving. If I see a big, if I see a big American flag on something or a big Canadian maple leaf on something and it's made in China, that just makes me not want to buy the product personally, but that's, that is, maybe that's just my bias, but, um, I don't know that that's, that's, is that, does that annoy you? Let me know in the comments below if that annoys you. Cause it certainly annoys me. But if, if you already have the Arteza watercolor pencils, I'd skip these. Those are just as good. Um, but if you don't have any pencils and you just want to get started with a bunch of colors that you can have fun with that aren't going to hinder your ability to learn, these are a good option. They definitely are. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think there's something fun to start with. They're not so expensive that if you want to give them to your kids to, to play with, that they would, um, you know, they have to worry about it or they would have a hard time doing it. Um, they're certified non-toxic. Uh, this product plants one tree, it says. I don't know how that is researched or I don't know how you hold the tax. This is this it does conform to ASTM D4236. And EN71, that's the standards. There's ASTM standards. There's a couple ASTM standards. There's a light fast standard, which you usually are not going to see ASTM light fastness on anything coming from China. But there's the ASTM safety standard, which um, basically states that if there's something toxic in a product, they have to label it on the package. And that the, this does uh, conform to that. But most everything is supposed to conform to that if it's coming over coming here as an art supply. Um, but it's still good to have the, the verification on the box, in my opinion. But, uh, yeah, I say give them a try if you want. There's nothing wrong with them. They're going to perform pretty well. They mix really well. But because these pencil watercolor pencils mix well, you don't need to have that many, I should say. And I think if you're going to buy these, I would say go for the 72 set rather than the 48 set because the colors that are in the... I would go with the 72 set rather than the 48 set because the 48 set is missing some of these rich browns. And um, also, since you can't get these open stock, which means if you use up a pencil, you've got to buy a whole new set if you want that color. Um, because there's more colors, you're less likely to use up a pencil. Or if you do, you've got another one that's fairly similar. Um, but or, or you could always just buy an open stock pencil from one of these other brands that we compared here on this chart. Uh, but yeah, I mean, quality-wise, they're they're a good bet. Price-wise, they're a good bet. Um, but spend your money how you want to, because it's your money, and uh, I can't tell you what to do. I hope you found this useful. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoy my reviews. And until next time, happy crafting. Bye!